House training your Maltipu will be the most difficult training, as it is with all dog breeds. But do keep in mind that in general, this dog is on the easy side of the scale in regard to this. If an owner follows the guidelines all of the time and has patience, this can go very well with minimal accidents and frustration. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. How often to take your Maltipu outside? It is suggested that you take your dog outside or lead them to his pee pads. 1. Immediately after any confinement. 2. When he, she first wakes up. 20 minutes or so before bedtime. 3. 15 to 20 minutes after your Maltipu eats. 4. Every 2 hours for a 2 month old every three hours for a three month old etc 5. anytime your puppy makes a motion to go some pups will circle around act skittish or bark once you have your puppy for a few weeks you'll learn to read his her cues housebreaking tips 1. choose one specific spot for your multipu to use as the bathroom area this should be close to the house but not an area that is used for any other purpose Think about how accessible the area will be during different times of the year, especially if you live in an area that receives a good amount of snow in the winter. 2. Within the area that you have chosen, you will stand in the center, allowing your puppy to sniff around and decide on the perfect spot. This is one reason why outdoor potty training is easier than indoor. Dogs like to have a say in the matter. 3. Any time that you or other household members are home, do not allow your puppy to run loose in the home. You must be close by in order to properly house train him. You can use the umbilical cord method, but looping one end of his leash to your belt or keep him in his gated area if you cannot keep a close eye on him. Young puppies can release their bladder in the blink of an eye. 4. Each time you bring him out, take note of the time and allow for a good 10 minutes. Many puppies will have weak bladders, However on the flip side of the coin some spend their first 9 minutes sniffing and exploring and then will pee once they relax. 10 minutes can seem like a long time if you are not comfortable or if you are feeling antsy from being in a rush. Dress appropriately for the weather, bring along your phone and remember that while you may need to get ready for work or cook dinner, your puppy does need time to learn the rules. 5. Bring your puppy to this spot before any walks. When owners assume that their dog will pee or poo while out for the walk, this is a missed opportunity to teach the puppy where to go. Always head to the designated bathroom spot both before and after a walk. 6. Always give some type of reward anytime your multi poopies or poos in the correct area. This should be praise, pats and or treats. 7. If your puppy wakes you up at night barking, only go to him and bring him outside if you really believe there is a legitimate bathroom need. 90% of the time, it will be a matter of the pup waking up and only wanting some attention. If you do suspect that he needs to pee or poo, bring him out with the lights kept dim and minimal speaking. You'll want to teach him that nighttime jaunts outside is a serious time and that waking is fine, but will not bring about any type of playing or attention. 8. If you must be gone during the day, keep your puppy behind a small gated area or inside an indoor canine playpen. This way, he will have enough room to play, sleep and eat, but any messes will also be contained. Place down some pee pads but do not expect him to always hit the mark. It is confusing for a puppy to learn two house training methods. And in a few months he will be able to hold his needs while you are gone. 9. 
clean any accidents with a quality enzyme cleanser. Using dish soap or other household cleaners will not rid the spot of trace amounts of urine and fine matter that holds a urine or stool scent. If this is not properly cleaned, it can trigger a puppy to go to the bathroom in that very same spot the next day. 10. Each month, as your multi-poo puppy matures, his bladder muscles and his bowel control will get stronger. This means that he will be able to hold his needs for a longer period of time. Keeping this in mind, you'll want to encourage this by extending the amount of time that passes between when you bring him outside again. 11. Never scold a puppy for housebreaking accidents. Despite how it may appear, puppies do not pee or poo on purpose. Going potty is a basic bodily function. If you seem to be having some hiccups, re-evaluate if you are doing all that is possible to clearly teach the pup that going potty in the designated area brings about good things and that going elsewhere does not bring about attention of any kind. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.